Hey guys, it's time to do a full comparison and a camera test between the Galaxy J5 2016 versus 2015 model from the last year. So, uh, of course, this is the um, the J5 2016 and this is the 2015. Uh, first of all, if we talk about uh, the design, you know, what's the design change we have. Uh, so, you can see here that uh, we have metal on the sides of the J5 2016 uh, previously was just plastic it was cheap you know um, but now it's changed a little bit metal on the sides uh, still plastic on the back but uh, yeah you know they added a little bit of uh, premiumness to their phone and uh, yeah I mean they tried be their best but I don't think so that there's like a big change uh, we can take a look here at the back which is still removable so you can see the battery it has grown taller uh, well if we compare it to the uh, to the J5 2015 here you can see the battery is like a little bit different in shape that be that's because the battery has gone up in terms of size it is now 3100 uh, milliamp hours which is great for a uh, for a 5.2 inch uh, 720p AC device and uh, you can see that the the trays now we have three separate trays for the sim cards and the micro SD card which is pretty nice from Samsung so on the back you can see uh, the design is pretty much the same uh, same positioning for the camera actually a little bit different positioning the LED flash is now on the right compared to the left on the J5 2015 uh, if we take a look at the displays of course both are 720p touch face UI uh, this one is having 5.1.1 lollipop and this one is having marshmallow uh, the, you know the difference between marshmallow and lollipop is just so small uh, you know it's just completely unnoticeable uh, the the quick settings they are a little bit different they're con close to material while here it's like blue and uh, you know following the old Samsung design UI and we can take a look here at the settings and just confirm it that both are actually running different software versions and I've heard that the J5 2015 model is like getting software update pretty soon so uh, if it's going to get this update, I'm probably going to make a video about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we have the latest version with the J5 2016, and there's no new addition with the software as far as I have seen here. Um, both have theme engines, so you can install themes if you want to and uh, customize it. Uh, and uh, the lock screen, if we compare it, pretty much the same. You can access the phone dialer and the camera there. Um, if you talk about the uh, processors, of course, uh, there is no change with the J5 2016, at least with the 4G variant. Uh, still uh, having the Snapdragon 410 chipset, uh, just like the J5 2015. So you're going to get the same type of performance, speed-wise, gaming-wise. You know, um, you can see the GPU at Reno 306 with the same clock speed at 400 megahertz. So no difference there at all, um, and which is a disappointment, of course. Uh, and uh, I'm not saying that this device will gonna get slow uh, even after a full year of usage this device will not gonna get slow you know uh, my brother he has personally used J5 for for like full year now and uh, and uh, and he has like a lot of apps installed and he said that he uh, that his device never got slow you know so I mean Samsung they have really done nice with the optimization you know software to hardware optimization is nice there they're not gonna get slow over time that's for sure but uh, I really expected Samsung to put like Exynos uh, processor just like the J7 inside of J5 but anyways they went cheap so uh, that's why uh, a lot of people uh, and a lot, you know a lot of youtubers including me will prefer you to buy J7 2016 if you want to try out this J series and if you're already using the J series then I should say uh, don't upgrade to the J2016 series because there is seriously nothing new here. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about this topic and uh, talk, uh, let's let's take a look here at the cameras, okay? Now, uh, camera is a 13 megapixel on both phones. Um, uh, there's like a little bit change in the picture quality. Uh, the camera UI is pretty much the same. I can just quickly show you guys here. You can see same type of UI. If we go into modes, nothing is different 
pro mode, auto, panorama, no difference there at all. Uh, both can record up to 1080p HD. Uh, now, like I said, the camera picture quality is like a little bit more vibrant. You get a little bit more better uh, accurate colors, which is nice. But this is just a Samsung's uh, marketing trick as far as I know um, because, you know, they produce same results. Uh, you can get the same type of results on the J5 2015 with a little bit of editing. But but I personally like the pictures uh, out of the uh, J5 2016, but certainly it's not something that uh, will uh you know pull me to upgrade uh you know certainly that is not uh, worth upgrading for uh we can take a look at the videos out of both phones So lastly, if we talk about the batteries on these bad boys, again, we have a uh, bigger battery size with the J5 2016. Uh, now, this is great because I've personally seen the battery life is really good on this one. Um, compared to J5 2016, yeah, yeah, there is a big difference, 3,100 here, and previously it was like around 2,600 or something. But anyways, the battery has gone bigger and it produces better results but again if you if you just want to upgrade just for the sake of battery i think you're going to waste money because there are a lot of great options out there and it's basically the same experience you know you know i showed this phone to my brother and he said it's basically the same phone and he has used this phone for like one year and i know as a smartphone guy i know that if you are already using j5 and if you upgrade it to the latest model you're not gonna get happy because it's pretty much the same experience so yeah i think uh not worth upgrading yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh i'll be i'll be making more videos of course um you know your your video request of course i see them in the comment section below i'll be comparing the nexus 5x to this these generations uh to the j7 and the j5 uh hopefully pretty soon and uh, yeah, catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.